hi guys it's promise person here again okay guys i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i create these stripes here these stripes i use on my design most of my designs if you're conversant with them you'll be seeing some of these stripes whenever i have enough space to add them okay i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create it first of all let me lock this guy so it doesn't shake okay it's locked now i think i will erase this this other one I have here so I can create a new one so I go to my eraser here you guys have erased it this is now clear let me get another one it's kind of a, a, a background Hey guys, this is my background over here. This is my background over here. So first of all, I will raise the color. Raise the color. Increase the tolerance so it raises it perfectly well. I think I'm okay raising it now. Then I will use the color filter. Kind of hue it to suit my background it to suit my background so which of the hues am i getting that is suiting my background i think this is suiting my background so it's almost close to what i'm looking for but this blue over here is not what i need okay so i need this color that i've gotten here with yellow so these blue ones i'll have to erase it and add another one okay so watch what will happen i go to i go over to erase here I think it was this and this and this so it was the orange ones that turned to that so i go back i was touching them and it was erasing so without this blow over here or just my handle we raise this so you see what i have over here i can bring it down a little so as not to be Watching my prompts, I think we are good now. Then these ones I've removed now. I will have to add them back. I have to add them back to make it look better. But adding them back, I will add only one due to there is no enough space here. I will add only the middle one. But I need to change the color. So look at what I'm going to do. I think this big one here over this big one over here. I don't like it because it's big enough. So I will go and erase erase it again. It is easy to remove this big long one here. So it's gone. I'll copy these guys again. Copy this guy. Look for a stable where I can add and get something okay. So preferably I'll crop them. Crop. Let me see if I can get just a few. Few of what I'm looking for. So I'm done cropping it. I'll resize. To be in the range of the size I'm looking for. I think one here at the bottom here will be okay. okay so I will raise the other erase the other ones. So I will erase this one and this one also. Erase this guy to avoid the issues. So the both have gone out. So I have only two here to cover up for the space. Then this open here, I will need another one to cover it up. So I'll copy this guy. But this time around, it's going to be yellow. So this guy is going to be here. But the color will be yellow. So I will erase the other guy. I will raise the one on top here. Which is this. After erasing, then I change the color. So I'm, in, I'm done erasing. So I'll place this guy here. Change the color to the orange here. I will talk from here. So this is the color over here. 
I think I will change the tolerance. I think I did increase it enough. Maybe 50 or 40. Okay, the tolerance is okay now. It's clear. So I'll copy this guy again. Copy him again. Place him somewhere here. But this time I will want to turn it upside down. It doesn't look as if they are just same. I can get another pattern. See if these ones look bold enough. So I'll keep it here. And this guy, I think I'll have to resize them a little. These other ones here. So I'll resize them a little. Size them a little. Is the millet? Okay, guys, this is it. I've actually got some, but it's not that it's not the same as the other one because this is an abstract shape. So you walk around them to you get something close to what you are looking for. You will raise add, you will raise add, you will raise add. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to share with your friends also and click the subscription button if you've not. And uh, have a great day.